Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to speak about how to fix cannot access share folder on your Windows 11. So let me directly get into a step. So first one is all about we just need to go over here in the search. We need to search here for the services and we have to click on this one. And right now from here what we need to do is after popping this all we have to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to function discovery resource over here. So scroll down and navigate to F. So if you find F somewhere else here, we need to navigate to the F or over here, you have to go over here at the top and where is F? We need to find the F. So right now, as you can see, we have over here, this is called function discovery resource publication. Right click on this one and go to the properties. And right now, as you can see, the startup, startup type has been set into manual and also the service status is stopped. So we need to change this into automatic and go for apply and also make sure the service status is stopped so change it to start over here like this and which is going to take a little bit of time and go for ok and right now go over here and go for restart and you have to check this is what you have to do as the first step moving on we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to navigate to ssdp discovery so keep scrolling down and navigate to ssdp discovery over here and right now we can find ssdp discovery right click on this one and go to the properties and right now the startups being set into manual and also the service status is running so change this one to the first one automatic and go for apply and the service status is running go for ok right click on this one and go to the properties make sure it is up and running once afterwards we have to scroll down and navigate to up np device host so keep scrolling down over here and right now we'll be finding this so right click over here and go to the properties make sure the startup type has been set into automatic and go for apply and also make sure the service status is stopped so we need to change into running so right now it is running and we need to close this and go over here close this and we have to check next one just go over here search for the control panel like this and we have to click on the control panel and right now over here the first and foremost step what we need to do is after this just go over here in the network over here so if you don't find the network all we have to do is just go over here network and sharing center and right now from here what we need just click on the change advanced sharing settings and right now as you can see what we need to do is we just need to go over here and right now we can see there is an option called private network so first and foremost step over here the network discovery should be turned it on and also make sure that you put a check on the box called setup network disconnected devices automatically and also make sure that you put a you have to turn on file and printer sharing over here these three things should be turned on now we need to close this and we have to check next one is all about we just need to go over here search for windows feature on or off just click on this particular over here and right now over here as you can see we have this particular box now from here we have to scroll down and you will be able to find a box named over here called smb10 so right now you can see this is the folder over here smb10 expand this and right now from here under this we'll be having a folder named smb10 client over here so this particular one so you have to put a check on this particular box over here and go for ok and you have to check so these are the steps and most probably afterwards you'll not be having the trouble and if you find this video really helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye